I'd like to clear up a little nomenclature before we dig into the actual heavy-duty details of syntax and library and all of that. You may have heard of C++ slash CLI, and to be honest, people sometimes misabbreviate this or, uh, you know, they put dots in there. If you've heard C++ and CL something together, this is probably what they were trying to remember. You know, there are a number of languages that are sort of based on C++. After all, there's this huge pool of developers that already know the syntax. So you say, my language has the same t syntax as C++, except for this one little thing. And very often, these variants will work with libraries that are already out there and with tools that are already out there, maybe with a little bit of extension or modification. And this is a powerful way to bring new capabilities to that pool of C++ developers. And C++ CLI is one of those variants, and it makes managed code. So once upon a time, you know, before there was a .NET framework, before there was Java, there was C++, and it compiled to machine code on the machine that you were building on. Nowadays, we call that native code because we need to distinguish that native code that actually runs directly on the metal from code that runs against some kind of a runtime, whether it's a Java runtime or C Sharp .NET framework runtime, or you're writing in VB.NET and running against the .NET framework's runtime. Normal, ordinary C++ produces native code, and Microsoft has compilers that come in Visual Studio that make native code. But it also has a set of tools inside Visual Studio that can make managed code from C++ source code. Managed code that can be easily called from C Sharp or VB or any other kind of managed code you have kicking around. It does this with some extensions to the language itself. So it's not C++, it's C++ CLI, because it's a little different, has a few extra keywords in it, a few extra pieces of punctuation. And this is a fantastic way to take a native library that was maybe written a long time ago and wrap it up, put a wrapper around it to make it easy to call from .NET code. I'm not going to cover C++ CLI at all. If you learn C++, then you basically know C++ CLI as well. You just need to learn the few extra little pieces of punctuation and keywords, and you're good to go, and you'll be in a position to write those wrappers. But we are not going to have any C++ CLI content. We're all about native code.